Greetings, my friends. Welcome to a journey into the heart of belief, a quest to understand the common threads that bind us together. Today, we're diving deep into the shared core elements of the Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. These three religions, woven into the very fabric of human history, share a common source, a spiritual ancestor that unites billions across the globe. We'll be exploring the fundamental tenets that form the bedrock of these faiths, the beliefs, the practices, the hopes, and the aspirations that have guided generations. Let's explore these common themes with an open mind and a willingness to understand what billions of people hold as truth. It's a journey that will take us from the ancient texts to the modern world, from the whispers of prayer to the grand pronouncements of faith. So join me as we embark on this exploration of shared heritage, a testament to the enduring power of belief. Our journey begins with a concept that forms the very cornerstone of the Abrahamic faiths, monotheism, the belief in one and only one, God. For Jews, this God is Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, revealed to Moses on Mount Sinai. Christians too worship this God, the Father, the creator of heaven and earth, but for them, God is also a Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Islam, the youngest of the Abrahamic faiths, shares this fundamental belief in one God, Allah, the Arabic word for God. Muslims believe that Allah is the same God worshipped by Jews and Christians, the God of Abraham, but that his final revelation came through the Prophet Muhammad. This shared belief in a single, all-powerful God has shaped the moral and spiritual landscape of these faiths. It's a concept that transcends cultural differences and geographical boundaries, uniting billions under the banner of one God. Our journey takes us now to the heart of the Middle East, to the arid lands where a shepherd named Abram received a divine call, a call that would shape the destiny of billions. This man, later known as Abraham, stands as a towering figure in all three Abrahamic faiths, revered as a patriarch, a prophet, and the father of their faith. For Jews, I am the founding father, the one who made a covenant with God, a covenant that promised a land, a nation, and a special relationship with the divine. Christians see me as a model of faith, a man who trusted in God's promises even when they seemed impossible. Muslims revere me as Khalilullah, the friend of God, a prophet who rejected idolatry and submitted to the will of Allah. Abraham's legacy transcends religious boundaries, symbolizing unwavering faith and obedience to a higher power. From the ancient patriarchs, we turn now to the sacred texts, the scriptures that form the bedrock of the Abrahamic faiths. For Jews, the Torah, the first five books of the Hebrew Bible, holds paramount importance. Christians revere the Bible, both the Old and New Testaments, while Muslims hold the Quran, revealed to the Prophet Muhammad as the final revelation of God. These scriptures guide humanity towards a deeper understanding of God and provide a blueprint for a righteous life. They offer profound insights into the human condition. Judaism recognizes a long line of prophets, from Abraham to Moses, from Elijah to Isaiah, each playing a crucial role in guiding the Israelites and conveying God's will. Christianity embraces the prophets of the Old Testament, seeing them as precursors to Jesus Christ, whom they regard as the Son of God, the ultimate prophet, and the Messiah. Islam recognizes many of the same prophets as Judaism and Christianity, including Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, but considers Muhammad to be the final and most important prophet. Despite their different roles and messages, these prophets share a common thread, they are all seen as chosen vessels, entrusted with communicating God's will to humanity. Their teachings continue to inspire, challenge, and offer hope to billions across the globe. These prophets, each a product of their time and place, address the specific challenges faced by their communities. For Jews, the afterlife is not a central focus, but a belief in Olam Haba, the world to come, is a fundamental tenet. Christians believe in heaven, a state of eternal bliss in the presence of God, and hell, a state of eternal separation from God. Islam offers a detailed description of the afterlife, with vivid accounts of paradise, a garden of eternal delights for the righteous, and hellfire, a place of torment for the wicked. These diverse beliefs, while differing in their specifics, share a common thread. They emphasize the importance of living a moral and meaningful life in preparation for what lies beyond. Whether it's the serene beauty of Olam Haba, the blissful reunion in the Christian heaven, or the lush gardens of Islamic paradise, the Abrahamic faiths offer a glimpse into a realm beyond human comprehension. At the heart of Jewish ethics lies the Torah, 
which outlines a comprehensive code of conduct, encompassing everything from dietary laws to social justice. Christian ethics, deeply influenced by the teachings of Jesus Christ, emphasizes love, forgiveness, and compassion. Islamic ethics, based on the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, stresses the importance of justice, compassion, and honesty. These ethical systems, though distinct in their expressions, share a common core. They emphasize the inherent dignity of every human being, the importance of treating others with respect, and the need to create a just and compassionate society. From the call to social justice in Judaism, to the radical love preached by Christ, to the emphasis on charity and compassion in Islam, the Abrahamic faiths offer a compelling vision for a more just and compassionate world. In the tapestry of human experience, few acts are as universal as prayer, the act of communicating with a higher power. It's a practice deeply embedded in the Abrahamic faiths, a lifeline to God, a source of comfort and strength. For Jews, prayer or tefillah is a cornerstone of religious life, a way to connect with God. For Muslims, prayer or salat is one of the five pillars of Islam performed five times a day. It involves ritual movements and recitations from the Quran, a physical and spiritual act of submission to Allah. Whether whispered at home or sung in a group, prayer connects us to the divine, offering strength and hope. In Judaism, tzedakah, often translated as charity, is considered a mitzvah, a commandment. Christian charity is rooted in the teachings of Jesus, who emphasized compassion for the poor, the sick, and the marginalized. Zakat, one of the five pillars of Islam, mandates that Muslims give a portion of their wealth to charity. These traditions of giving, though varying in their specific expressions, share a common goal to alleviate suffering, to promote social justice, and to create a more compassionate and equitable world. Whether it's providing food for the hungry, shelter for the homeless, or education for the underprivileged, charity in its many forms serves as a powerful force for good in the world. Charity is a reminder that we are all interconnected and that our actions have the power to make a difference in the lives of others. For Jews, the pilgrimage to Jerusalem, the holiest city in Judaism, was a central part of religious life in ancient times. Christians embark on pilgrimages to sites associated with the life of Jesus Christ, most notably Jerusalem, the Holy Land, where Jesus lived, died, and was resurrected. The Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca, is one of the five pillars of Islam, an obligatory act for all Muslims who are physically and financially able. These pilgrimages, though different in their destinations and rituals, share a common thread. They are journeys of faith, undertaken to deepen one's connection with the divine. Whether it's the solemn walk through the old city of Jerusalem, the contemplative silence at the site of Christ's crucifixion, or the circling of the Kaaba in a sea of humanity, pilgrimages offer a powerful way to connect with the divine. Pilgrimages are transformative experiences, testing faith and renewing the spirit. Fasting plays a significant role in Jewish tradition. Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, is the holiest day in the Jewish calendar, a day of fasting, prayer, and repentance. Christians observe various fasts throughout the year, most notably during Lent, the 40-day period leading up to Easter. Fasting is an integral part of Islam. During the month of Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, Muslims abstain from food and drink from dawn to sunset. Though the specific practices and motivations may differ, the act of fasting serves a similar purpose in all three faiths. It's a form of self-denial, a way to subdue the desires of the flesh and to focus on spiritual growth. Fasting, in its various forms, is a testament to the human capacity for self-discipline and spiritual striving. It's a reminder that true fulfillment comes not from material gratification, but from seeking a deeper connection with the divine. As we've seen, these core elements bind the Abrahamic faiths together in profound ways. From their belief in one God, to the reverence for shared prophets, from the ethical guidelines for living to the practices that nourish the soul, these common threads weave a rich tapestry of faith, a testament to the enduring human search for meaning and connection with the divine. We hope this deep dive inspires you to explore these themes further and understand the rich tapestry of beliefs that shape our world. The Abrahamic faiths, for all their diversity and complexity, offer profound insights into the human condition, our longing for connection, our search for meaning, our struggle with good and evil, and our ultimate hope for redemption. Thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration. If you found this exploration enlightening, 
Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content that delves into the heart of history, culture, and the human experience.